The four-string resonator cigar box guitar that I'm using in this lesson was built by my friend Jim Mitchell from www.cigarcitycbgs.com. And I have it strung using the four highest strings from a medium gauge pack of strings. So that's the D, G, B, and E. And it's tuned the same exact way, except the highest string, the E, is tuned down to D. So you're in open G or Spanish tuning. So when you strum all the strings open, it plays a G chord. I mainly play bottleneck slide blues guitar, wearing a glass slide on my pinky so I can slide up and down the strings. But you don't have to wear the slide. You can just fret those notes using your fingers. But first, what I'd like to talk about is the right hand, the picking and the strumming. And this method is commonly found in a lot of early Americana roots music, and also very similar to how you play a banjo. So first let's number the strings. The one closest to the floor is one, two, three, four. So I'm not fretting anything with my left hand right now. I'm playing the strings open. I'm using my thumb to play string four, and then on string three I'm strumming down. So it sounds like this. your basic strumming pattern. Now for the basic picking pattern, I'm doing pinches, which means I play two strings at the same time. So I'm using my thumb, thumb on string four and my index on string two and doing a little pinch. Then I'm using my thumb on string four and my middle finger on string one. So it sounds like this. Now if you combine those two ideas together, you get this. Now that we established the picking and strumming pattern, let me play this song for you and then I'll go over it a little bit. It's an old American folk tune called the Crawdad Song. You get a pole, now get a line, honey. You get a pole, now get a line, babe. You get a pole, now get a line, we'll go down to Crawl that hole, honey, please be mine. Sitting on the bank till the feet get cold, honey. Sitting on the bank till the feet get cold, babe. Sitting on the bank till the feet get cold, looking down that crawl that hole, honey, please be mine. To play this song, I use the basic picking and strumming pattern using the open strings. You get a pole and I'll get a line, honey. Then the guitar is going to respond back with the slide. And this is called call and response. And it goes back to the early days of working in the field when there was a person called the caller who would sing a verse and then all the people working would come back with a chorus. And this would go round and round. And they used this to kind of lighten the load and make the work a little easier or to get the people to work together as a group if they were chopping wood or pulling something. So in this case, I sing and the guitar responds back. You get a pull, I'll get a line, honey. And I'm doing that on the first string, fifth fret. Then it moves to a new chord. I bar across the fifth fret, and that's the C. And I use that same picking pattern. You get a pull, I'll get a line, babe. But this time I respond back by going up to the first string, ninth fret. So far I got, you get a pull, I'll get a line, honey. So then I go right back to the 5th fret, you get a pull, now get a line, then open, we'll go down to the crawl, that hole, honey, then a D chord, please be mine. That little D chord I'm playing is on two strings, 3rd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. So there you have the three basic chords that are common in many folk tunes. The open is the G, the fifth fret is the, the C, and then I'm playing that little D chord. And you can also get that D chord at the seventh fret if you bar across. See a little higher up. 
So here's the whole song. Now see if you can hear the uh, the chord changes as I go around. You get a pool, now get a line, honey. You get a pool, I'll get a line, babe. You get a pool, now get a line, we'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey. Please be mine. Now that you know that basic picking and strumming pattern, you can figure out other folk tunes. Start with a simple folk tune that you might know like You Are My Sunshine and see if you can figure out the melody line on the first string. The melody line is simply the words that you would sing and it would sound something like this. Now with a little patience, a little experimenting, and a little practice, you'll figure out how to add that bass and strumming pattern to the melody line and put them together, something like this. <laughs> 